Look at him. Let me tell you something. If your man work outside, give him a two hour grace period when he come home before you start. Just give him two hours. I'm talking about two hours. Within them two hours, find him something to eat, help him out of some kind of way. Feed him, run his bath water for him, or run his shower. Ask him do he need his back rub or something. Shout out to the women that know how to treat a man. You are very much appreciated. I don't care if they don't like me. I came here to stunt. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if they don't. Who was good, everybody? So, you saw the video. Brother man out here putting in the work. All right. He over here putting in the work and is advising the ladies to know how to treat your man, know how to cater to him, and, and like the video. Right now, like the video. You, you, you already watching me. Just leave a like. That's the that's the best you can do right now. Just leave a like. Anyways, man over here, brother man, <laughs> advising the ladies, give your man some grace. Give him some motivation, some inspiration as he's out here putting in work. Whether it's out here doing construction work, whether it's somewhere else doing a 9 to 5, maybe even 12 hours even. If he's out here, he's a filmmaker. He out here, he's a doctor. He's out here and he's a plumber, engineer, whatever he does. You be his number one supporter. Look at him. Let me tell you something. If your man work outside, give him a two hour grace period when he come home before you start. Just give him two hours. I'm talking about two hours. Within them two hours, find him something to eat, help him out of some kind of way. Feed him, run his bath water for him, or run his shower. Ask him do he need his back rub or something. Man, it's hot out here, man. It's hot out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think, I don't think people get it, man. This is the reality. This is what real men have to go through. You know what I'm saying? And I got a college degree and I'm out in the heat. So I, it, it, let me tell you something. Man, salute to all my hardworking men taking care of their families. But most of all, salute to the beautiful women that support their man because they know how hard they man work. That's it, that's all. Let me get an AC. Bless. When it comes to the basis of what men do and it comes to the basis of his work and spending time at work versus spending time at family versus spending time individually with you, you have to give this man some grace. And sometimes women will complain to a man about not being, you know, communicative, not being intimate when he has a busy schedule. I've seen this personally with people that I know when a man coming home from work. And he just wants to have some alone time to himself. He may have gone through something stressful at work. It may have been a busy and a very hectic day. He probably got yelled at by a co-worker. He, he got into a hash with them. You don't know what happened. The man was probably in, in you know, Z traffic, whatever the case is. He might just generally just be a little stressed. Just want to have some peace to himself, eat his food, watch TV, watch the game. Here you go screaming. Here you go in his face talking about, you don't never show me no type of love and attention. And you always get into that TV. You don't never want to say hey to me. You always just, do you think this motivates him, ma'am? <laughs> do you think this motivates him to want to spend time with you? You you think like when he stops his car in in the garage... You really think like he just, oh, I'm ready to go see what she going to have in store for me. This man is over here praying in the car, 10, 15, 20 minutes in the car. Just like, please, 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 please. Whoever I meet today, whoever, whatever beast that sh that's in that house. Please, by all means, please don't let that devour me. Whatever is in that house, please, Lord God, please, 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 I want peace of mind. Ain't that sad? <laughs> there are some men, as soon as they park their car, as soon as they get back from work, they have to have a little piece of them, uh, a little peace time to themselves in their own car in, at their house because they can't even have peace when they walk in that bitch. Children is one thing. You have little kids and children, so that's one thing. You preventing chaos, right? You preventing yourself from being surrounded by chaos by your own woman? That is beyond me. I could never. I could never.
if a woman cannot understand that I just need an hour or two to just really settle my mind that I'm home, to settle my mind at peace, to get out of work mode. If you're not even even more so if you're not willing to help me get back in that zone, if you're not willing to, you know, cuddle with me and, 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 and talk to me nice and, and whatever the case is. You just come, I walk in the door. You you forgot this on the groceries and, and why you always doing this and what are you this and, and I told you to do this and you didn't do that and, and Crazy. Some of y'all women need to show y'all men some grace because if he was willing to and I'm I'm sure he had he he's had many thoughts, the man would would dip. If he didn't have kids with you, if he didn't want to be a provider for the family first, he would have left your ass a long, 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 long 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 time ago and got kids with you loves the family loves the unity in the family but he's just over here like damn what did i get myself into some women are in relationships with men and don't know how to communicate with their man they think that the way to communicate with their man is just vividly expressingly you know uh, uh explaining their issue directly and harshly you don't never do this. You don't never do that. You don't do this. You don't do that. I ain't never seen you do this. Oh, you say you're going to do that? I bet you won't. And that you expect him. That, that was, that's his motivation. That's his motivation. <laughs> you better not walk away from me or you ain't going to get none. Oh, and then the, that's why we haven't done it now. Because you don't never want to, you don't never want to act right. And this is supposed to be his motivation. That. That energy that you bring. That's supposed to be his motivation to do better for you. To prove to you. To, to, to do for the family. I saw this in, in Ayala on her show. He's over here talking with a couple and, and the and the woman's over here just slant just going in on her husband. And and, and Miss Ayala was just like, hold up, let me show you how to actually communicate with your man. I don't think my husband respects my position as stepmom. Your what? children, the ones that I did not create, they're allowed to do what you do. They sleep all day. They don't, they don't come out of the room. They, they don't do what they need to do. Wait a minute, hold up. I want you to come over here. I want you to watch this. Let me show you. I have a little concern because your sons are not demonstrating that they are learning to be the kind of man I know you want them to be. They're going to demonstrate the kind of man you teach them to be. And I'm not really sure what to do about that. Can, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. That's how you do that. The woman has to talk to her man to get him to move the way she needs him to move. You're not going to get nothing with that. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not saying that women are perfect. I'm not saying you have to be perfect when expressing your emotions to a man. But be considerate, damn it. Because if the man was talking to you that way, you would not go for it. Do unto others as you would have them do unto... Didn't y'all learn this in church? Didn't y'all learn this in Sunday school? It's vacation Bible school month. Like, didn't, didn't y'all learn this? This is, this is ABC 1, 2, 3. Grandma should have taught you this. I ain't never seen my grandma raise her voice at my granddad. Never. 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 And yet some of y'all women feel like you can step up to a man. You can put your hands on a man. You can yell, tell him to shut up, tell him when, when he can and cannot speak. End in conversations and he not done talking to you. I've seen this. <laughs> you know what? I'm done with the conversation. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to talk about it no more. I'm done with the conversation. I don't know why you keep talking to me about it. Because I'm done. Just inconsiderate of his emotions, inconsiderate of his thoughts, all of that. The man could be really stressing, really going through it. And you won't give him no form of inspiration. You won't give him no solutions because you expect him as a man to know everything. You expect him as a man to do everything. Y'all are together. Y'all are like this. Y'all are supposed to be facing the world together. Yet he feels like he's alone. He feels like he's doing this all by himself and that he's supposed to be doing stuff for everybody in the household but nobody's doing anything for him. He feels underappreciated. He feels neglected. Because he's a man, and he's supposed to push through, and he's supposed to provide, and he's supposed to protect, and he's supposed to do this, and that, and this, and that, because he's a man. Well, you are a woman, miss. You are a woman. You're the nurturer. You're the companion. You're the glue to the whole household. 
where, 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 what are you playing? What are you providing for him? What, where, what are you bringing? How are you going to make the home warm? How are you going to turn a house into a home? What are you doing? Because a woman not only is supposed to be there to nurture the man, to raise the kids. She's supposed to provide counselorship. She's supposed to provide wisdom. She's supposed to provide motivation and inspiration. How is a man supposed to gain inspiration from you? He don't even want to open up to you. I've seen women just going in on their husband, going in on their boyfriend, going in on a man, just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. And the man is just not saying nothing, not a ting. Why ain't you saying nothing? You don't never say nothing when, I, when I'm expressing myself. Just talk. Just to, to say something. I want you. You're not considerate. This has been an ongoing pattern for years. You're inconsiderate. You don't consider his side of the story. You don't consider his argument. You don't consider his thoughts. So he stays quiet because he knows what the outcome is going to be. All that sentimental stuff after y'all get into an argument, all that I'm sorry and you know how I get and I'm going to do better. All that stuff, all that out the window because you keep doing it. It don't mean nothing when you apologize. It don't mean nothing when you say I'm sorry. It don't mean nothing when you say I'm going to do better and I'm going to and I'm because it's going to go right back around. It's a cycle. So he stays quiet because he can't express himself to you. Anytime that he express himself, he feels like he's cornered. Anytime that he express himself, you want to ricochet it back and, and put it back on him. You don't understand. You don't empathize. You don't talk to him like how you would your best friend. You don't talk to him like he's an actual human being. You don't talk to him like he's your actual soulmate. Like y'all didn't have kids together. Like y'all didn't build a family together. You talk to him like he's the worst thing in the world. Like he's your arch enemy. No, 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 that's, that's not what I, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish, but that's not what I said. You're misquoting me. You're misquoting me. If you're going to quote me, you need to do so correctly. What I said, what I said was, I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. I get it. I mean, okay. I understand. I get it. I, I get what, I get what you're saying. Okay, but you do the exact same thing. No, it's not about tip for tat. It's the fact that you have the audacity to come to me about something that I'm doing when you know you do the exact same thing. No, I'm not going to. You apologize. You apologize first and see. Exactly. That's what I thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. You finish? Okay. I got things to do. I was kind of like in the middle of something. Okay. Let me get back to work. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I don't want to talk about this. Okay. Some, some women, some women, they just clicked off of this because. Yeah. I don't like how you delivered that. I don't like how you said that. It could have been a better delivery. But it's true. Some some men right now do not want to get married. Some men right now, because of what they've seen in their household, because of what they've seen growing up, they don't want to get married. Because if they got to deal with that, all the all the, the, the whining and complaining and, and, and all, the, the, all the stuff they be hearing late at night, if they got to deal with that, they don't want to get married. They don't want to do that. Not me. Uh, it's the truth. There are... There are, there are larger amounts of men in this day and age that don't want to get married because of what they see in the household because of how women are out here behaving i don't condone it and i'm not telling men not to get married but you have to understand the crisis here there's a there's an issue when a man does not feel like he's going to find anybody there is an issue when a man can vividly and directly express to you that he may not find love he may not find the right person because of what he has seen growing up because of what he has experienced with certain women who never truly value his presence never truly valued his personality never truly valued his emotions it is what it is as much as a lot of these women try to talk about how they have such emotional intelligence and they know how to communicate their emotions you don't know how to deliver them you don't know how to control them. You don't know how to express them in the right way. You wonder why a man can't express himself to you. Look in the damn mirror. You wonder why a man, you know, every relationship you've ever been in, the man keeps saying the same thing. Look in the damn mirror. The last five men you've been with keep saying you crazy. You don't never listen. You always deflecting. Bitch, maybe you deflecting. Maybe you goddamn it. Maybe you deflecting. You'll never listen. Maybe you don't listen. You ever think of that? 
these men, these men ain't shit. Bitch, you ain't shit. How about that? How about them apples? Could it, could it possibly, just, 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 could it just possibly be that you're the problem? No, it's the men. Okay, we'll just move on. All right. <laughs> Y'all let me know how your person feel about this respectfully in the comments below. All right. Don't forget to hit the like button. And, you know, I, I honestly talk about how beautiful it is to see feminine black women. That's the video you're going to see to come right after this. So, till next time. We out.